Rachel, you set this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. Right now, there's six men and six women. But this week, we're going to test the quality of your existing connections. And we're going to stir in a little quantity. A little Q and Q right there. <laughs> Watch Tommy mix it up for you. Like that. All right. So, one new man and one new woman will be joined in the party. From what it seems, two will enter and one will leave is how things will be run this season. With Ace being low-key and with the least amount of connections and Leverin being extroverted and talkative, Tommy chooses them to meet Cornelius and Carmen. These people are making old school entrances. Mm. Who of you will be going on a blind date? Wow. Whoa, whoa. We learn that Ace is more than a woman into yoga. She has personality and is just her personality is more subdued. The first person we need to meet this first gentleman and see what they got on their mind. Yeah. I think you can handle it. What you think? I, I can handle it, sir. Oh, we need a man. Let me see. Laverne. Oh. Cornelius and her bond, especially since Cornelius is really into mental health. Mental health is part of your health, so Absolutely. get up in there, get it done. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I'm okay. really big on meditation. Now, as for Leverin and Carmen, they hit it off too. They are both Air Force vets. Leverin likes a woman who can take charge, and Carmen has no issue playing that role. So safe man is we out, right? And I'm running my mouth, or I'm doing something. How do you get me to get back in line? I'm gonna probably like lean uh. in. Some specific moments that stood out for me was when that group date was happening and Ace felt left out, she moved out of the way. She went to the bar, played on her phone, and didn't feel the need to insert herself to soothe her ego. Everyone starts to pair off a bit. Everyone is connecting and having a great time. I'm like, hey, my drink is low. Let me go to the bar. Doing all right? You okay? I am. You sure? I felt a little tension, so I was like, you know what? Let me check in and make sure you're okay. He's so sweet. No, Seriously. I just didn't want to, like, impose on you guys. Impose? I saw, like, no, I no. love when I see, like, good connections and stuff going on. You could never impose. You should flow with never that. Never impose. Precious also seemed to have minimal screen time this episode. Not sure why. Maybe it's part of the Precious story production is telling. Who knows? Uh oh. Hey, we got, you want some we got a crowd. And as for Tiffany's elimination, that girl, she chose to rather blame Paul for not being into her as the reason she was eliminated. She didn't take any accountability for her part in the elimination and all that cursing was so unnecessary. This, we're not about to turn this to a damn interrogation. No, this is no. Why are in a business meeting? No, it's Listen. not. We're not going business. <laughs> I want work. I know you wasn't. Nope. I like that. <laughs> We're here to meet everyone, but at the end of the day, I know that Joy and I wouldn't have any issues. Mm. <laughs> hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.